Hi, this is Soft Cell Video Productions with episode number 130. I'm your host, John. What you're looking at here is called fascia. Now what it is, is it's stone that's attached to a underlying stone surface or perhaps a steel and drywall backing. Now, a lot of people think that you can glue this stuff on. Well, you can't. And I've seen videos where they have special mixtures of lye with concrete and sand. It doesn't work and it's not up to code and it's not safe. What you use is anchoring material. You see this here? We'll go into a little more detail a little further on in this video. As you can see, it comes in different types and styles and sometimes it goes up quite high. Definitely high enough to where if there's a failure somebody is going to get hurt. As I said, fascia comes in very many styles and colors. This is free rock fascia and this is probably the most important that you secure because you have the biggest rocks and they're also the most likely to come free and loose from a wall if they're not secured. I'll go into more detail later, but basically you take this material and if it's block, you anchor it between the block behind here. If it's wood, you nail it to the wood and let your attachment stick out like so. When you lay your fascia, one block at a time or groups, you make sure that one of these pieces comes out far enough to where you get a good anchor hold and you cut it so that it's just underneath the final coat of mortar. Well, we're back at the studio and I am here to completely explain everything that I described earlier, except this time mechanically with diagrams and material. On concrete block anchors you have your concrete blocks and you want to cut your anchoring about seven to eight inches and basically you use about half to go in between the block and about half to stick out. So this goes in between the block and sticks out like this so that you can mortar your fascia around it. Consider these to be two concrete blocks. Basically what you're doing is you've got your mortar laid on there and then you just lay your block on top and like a good bricklayer you tap it down make sure it's level and when that's dry I'll tell you what that can't be pulled out by Superman. So you've got a good firm anchor to hold your fascia. That's the method for concrete block. Method two employs wonderboard or some kind of concrete laden drywall. On rare occasions they'll use green drywall but in no case do they use regular drywall. But assuming they use wonderboard Underneath the wonder board, it is supported by 2x4s. And that is basically what your attachment device is attached to. Now, there's actually an advantage of this over the block wall. And I'll explain that in a second. But first, let me explain this. And that is when you have wonderboard you have to keep track of where those 2x4s are otherwise you'll be anchoring this into wonderboard which might as well be tissue paper and the recommended method is a minimum one inch drywall screw this is an inch and three quarter Here's a little secret. 
If you push hard enough, it goes right through that. And now you have a very firm and legal and up to code attachment to attach your fascia to. In closing, on a very serious note, in the last 10 years, there's been two failures of rock fascia fronts. Both instances resulted in the injury of dozens of people, a few near deaths. So it's very important that you anchor your fascia. Don't rely on any kind of glue or mastic or special blend of mortar. It doesn't work. The only thing that works are those physical anchors, okay? And they're kind of a pain, but they work, they're up to code, and they keep the wall up when all else fails. Again, comments are always welcome on this channel. I'd like to thank you for watching, and have a great day.